camera control on the Atomus Ninja. Camera control has finally come to the Atomus Ninja TX and the Atomus Ninja TX Go. So I'm going to update my TX and see if I can get this to work. So over here, I'm going to, uh, I am already connected to Wi-Fi on my device. So right now the current firmware I have is 12.0.0. So I'm gonna hit check now uh, for a firmware update and it gives me the option to download version 12.2. Uh, which is 452 megabytes. So I'm gonna hit download. Oh, and it's gonna say downloading firmware update. So what I really love about the new Atomus Ninja TX and Go devices is that you have the ability to update them over Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. That means I don't have to connect this to a computer. I don't have to walk around my laptop. I don't have to find a bunch of cables and try to <laughs> make it work and download it and put it on an SD card and then put it on here. We now have over the air firmware updates, which I absolutely love. All right, so it's been about, I'd say like 15 to 20 seconds. This is happening in real time, uh, depending on how long it takes, we'll determine whether or not I'm fast forwarding in post, but right now this is moving very quickly. All right, now I'm going to select the install button. Here we go, install. And it now says preparing to update firmware. All right, it looks like the device is restarting. Uh, the screen has gone black. And okay, now it says preparing to update firmware. It's always a little nerve wracking when the screen goes dark, you're like, ah, what's going on? So I'm going to let it rock. It's, it's doing something, it's updating. Uh, so let's see how long this takes. Right now, let's see, 11.39. Let's see how long this takes. I mean, so far this video is about two minutes long. We're about two minutes in and we are at the installation um, point of this. So we're supposed to be able to, according to the newsletter that came in uh, about this feature, uh, it's going to be so able to support Canon, Fujifilm, Nikon, Panasonic, Sony, Zcam, and other leading brands via, it looks like the USB-C ports. Uh, it's gonna allow you to start and stop recording without reaching for the camera. Though I'm old school, I like to hit record on the camera myself, but that's good to have. You're gonna be able to change the essentials, ISO, shutter, aperture, frame rate, and monitor and adjust from a more comfortable position. Uh, touch to focus brings even greater precision to your workflow. Simply tap the screen to lock focus instantly, giving you fast intuitive control over framing, exposure, and color accuracy. So. This is for the Ninja TX or the Ninja TX Go. All right. Do not remove power. I am running this off of a uh, NPF battery in the back. And that NPF battery is also providing additional power to the Sony FX3. All right, it <laughs> looks like the update is complete. So let's check this out. I haven't looked at any instructions on how to do this aside from just reading the newsletter. So I'm not even sure how to make this work, but I am going to tilt down a little bit so I can get the dummy and Furby in frame. I'm gonna move Furby a little closer, but I'm just gonna tap on Furby. Well, I think I need to connect it first via USB-C. So that would, that would be helpful. So I'm going to plug in this locking USB-C cable. I'm going to plug it in over here and I'm going to run that into the camera. So I'm going to take out this other USB-C device. Boom. So now 
let's see how do we how do we make this happen here um i kind of want to just figure it out on the fly i'm just kind of see if there are any addition additional settings that popped up none down here all right so let's check out up here control okay yes we have a new menu up top that says control so we're going to enable camera control it automatically recognized the device of sony and the model of the fx3 and there are two other things that i can enable but i'm just going to do this one first and then see how it differs once i select that so now that it's enabled let me see hmm i see this option down here which wasn't here before this camera symbol and i also see a touch thing here so i selected that and now it looks like i can aha we have camera control on the atomas ninja this is really really nice okay here we go we're gonna tap on shamika boom focuses on shamika and then i guess if i tap this i can lock that in so that prevents any changes from happening on screen that is marvelous so now let's go back into once i i'm out of that camera feature you know i can't change anything on screen which is great so now let's go back into the settings for camera control and now let's enable camera status and white balance as color temperature oh that that changed something for sure huh all right let's get out of that so that definitely changed the white balance whatever i i, I hit but let's go back into the camera and so now we're seeing additional things on screen so before we weren't seeing camera battery and focus mode now we see those things on screen all right so uh, camera battery it says 51%. That's a match. Focus mode, autofocus. That is true. And we see the ISO of 400 and the white balance. So let's, wow. We can change the white balance from the Atomus Fire. Uh, let's just do 5,000. Awesome sauce. And again, let's focus on Furby. Sweet. We see that shift happening um let's change the iso let's do 500 that worked okay uh i think the f-stop is is locked in and that's changed via the camera but let me see oh wait i have to so now let's also change the aperture as well i'm gonna click on f2 and change that to f 4.5 and also switch focus to Furby. I really love how intuitive the menu system is. It feels cohesive. It feels well thought out. So now let's go back up here, go back into control, but let's take off white balance as color temperature. All right, so now it says color temp. Ah, and now we have these different modes here ah so that gives you a different sort of interface when you have that white balance uh toggle turned off wow okay and then we hit the camera symbol of course to get out of it so this is great if you know you are further away from the camera and maybe you just have the monitor you can now initiate recording and change all the necessary settings that's fantastic so there you have it folks the first demonstration of camera control on the atomist ninja tx i'm excited we have finally have this on this monitor i think this officially makes the atomist ninja tx the best on camera monitor on the market i know there are a lot of competitors at different price points but in terms of professional build professional features reliability uh, recording formats the Atomist Ninja TX is unmatched I'm sorry <laughs> so, <laughs> they just destroyed the game with everything so now with this monitor you can record ProRes ProRes RAW send a feed over NDI upload to Dropbox Frame.io Atomosphere in real time have time code with the air glue get time code over HDMI record to CF Express type 
B card. That is really clutch. And you can also record to an SSD, which reminds me, I've been meaning to test whether my Lexar SSD will work with this device. Um, I may need to screw off the locking mechanism to make space for it. I don't know how long the spout is, but that's something that I do want to try. So uh, let me, I will do that in another video, but that is gonna be clutch. So this monitor does it all. You can power via MPF battery, power via USB-C. Um, it's really just a phenomenal device and it's something that's going to last your whole career. I had the Atomos Ninja V, had that for three, four, five years, had it for a long time. It was reliable, didn't conk out of me, on, out on me. I've had other monitors that after a while they just stop working or they start doing funky stuff. But this is a monitor where if you're one of those people that forget your memory card, like you're saved by the monitor because it can also record. Uh, so I love that it finally has camera control and I'm definitely going to be playing with it some more, but I'm excited. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to go ahead and finish updating the other uh, monitors that I have. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I am the chef gal and you just got the recipe.